Bum, ba, na, 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 na. After this, I'm going to listen to Post Malone and take a bubble bath. Bubble bath. Just kidding. I might. I might be kidding. And... <laughs> Did you know that females of all species, from monkeys to mice, use tools and tricks to help their men last longer in bed? I, too, was surprised when I heard this but it totally makes sense. In this video, I am going to discuss how women women, like homo sapiens sapien women, can help their men to last longer in bed. Hi, I'm Caitlin B, a sex and relationship coach. You can find me here on YouTube and at Instagram at Caitlin Victorious X and on my website, Better Sex Coach. Dot com. Now, I have a lot of male and female viewers on my channel wondering how can women get involved in helping their partners last longer in bed? And I'm here to share with you the top 10 things that women can do to help their male partners to extend their time, make sex better and enjoyable for both of you. First, I want to tell you a story about some rats, which you can find in this book, What Do Women Want by Daniel Bergner, which is phenomenal and also very triggering if you are the kind of person that believes that women are the fairer sex and does not want that view to be challenged, this book is not for you. However, if you're like most of us and you're ready to challenge your view of women's sexual purity, I highly recommend that you check it out. Sorry, book. I don't disrespect books. I just wanted to throw it for dramatic. Now it's safe. In that book, <laughs> the author Daniel Bergner shares a story about the research by academic Jim Faust in which he built a special cage for male and female rats that were mating. In this cage, he put a plexiglass barrier that had holes that were small enough for the female rat to make it through, but not the male rat. In the act of mating, what scientists observed is that female rats would regularly stop during sex go to the other side of this special cage where the male rat could not find them and continue to go, and they would wait, let him cool down, and then they would come back over, have more sex, and then go back to the other side and let him cool down and come back. What scientists inevitably concluded, and I'm sure you would agree, is that these female rats were doing everything that they could to extend the time that sex was lasting. Now, female rats do have a clitoris, and much like the female clitoris, scientists had previously believed it was just a side benefit of evolution. But we all know that nothing happens by chance in evolution, and it is likely, I happen to believe wholeheartedly, that the female clitoris and female orgasm, and the fact that it takes women up to 20, even 30 minutes to even reach orgasm, is not an accident, or a byproduct, or a leftover analogous limb to sexuality, no. Not not at all. You see, rats don't mate because they want to make rat babies. They're not that intelligent. They don't know that that's what they're doing. Rats mate because it feels good. That's why they have sex, because it feels good. And for female rats, just like for female women, sex feels better when it lasts longer. Now, just like rats, we women are not helpless, pure creatures, especially not if you read that book. And we actually have quite a bit of autonomy and power in helping our male partners to last as long as we would like them to in bed. And in this video, I am going to recount my advice for women. If you're a man watching this, please watch it. This is good. You should be able to communicate these tips with her. If you're a woman watching this, thank you so much for joining my channel. Please subscribe so that I can continue to deliver great information directly to you on how to have the best sex of your life. Let's go. Tip number one, tell him what you want, what you really, really want. I am a child of the 80s and I will not apologize for that Spice Girls reference. Women. It's really important that you let your man know exactly what works for you in sex, especially if it's not just like thick, heavy, hard, thrusting. If you really like gentle, slow, stillness, lots of eye contact, breathing together, holding each other close while he slowly enters you, let him know. Chances are good that if you haven't explicitly told him what works best for you during sex, he thinks that the thing that works best for you is the thing that works 
best for porn stars, which is heavy, thrusting, blunt, object, impact, sex. It's not what most women like. And if you're not sure what it is that you like, well, cool, glad that you are watching this. It sounds like you've got some work to do. No shame in that. Spend a little bit of time actually connecting with what you enjoy about sex and what makes sex fun and enjoyable for you. Is it a massage? Is it lots of foreplay? Is it lots of teasing? Do you like when he just runs his fingers along your skin and through your hair? Do you like cuddling prior to sex? Do you need emotional closeness prior to sex? And I encourage you to take the time that it requires to figure out what actually works best for you and then let him know so that he can spend more time doing that and less time doing this. Number two, take a page out of the female rats book and take breaks. Now, a lot of guys are going to be reluctant to take breaks during sex because they are afraid that they are going to lose their erection. You can do your part by assuring him that his erection will most assuredly come back. Even if he loses it for 15, 20, 30 minutes, even an hour, even for the rest of the night, and you have to wait until the next morning or evening to have sex. You know that his erection will come back. Encourage him to take breaks breaks, go down on each other, eat pizza, drink wine, I don't care what you do, but take breaks so that you can extend the amount of time that both of you are enjoying your sexual adventure. Number three, encourage him to slow down. Listen, guys are often in a hurry. They are like, hooray, sex is happening, let me get in there. And they're in and then they're finished and they're out just as quickly as they got there. So encourage him to slow the heck down. Maybe take him in you just a couple centimeters, not even an inch, and then have him breathe and get used to the feeling of you. I mean, you feel awesome, right? Warm, wet, yummy, delicious, pleasurable. And the word pleasurable, I, literally, I spit and it hit me in my nose. Give him a minute to get used to what it feels like to be inside of you before you continue and tell him at any time and all the time to just slow down and be present with you. I didn't include this in the tips, but being present yourself is gonna help him to be present. And when he's present, he will be aware of what's going on in his body and he'll be able to control ejaculation a lot more. Number four, make sex more about breath than it is about movement breathe together. You and I both know when you're focused on breathing, you can get a lot done. You can calm your nervous system. You can take control of a situation, no matter how anxious, concerned, fatigued, afraid you're feeling. If you take some deep breaths, maybe five to 10, maybe more, you can steady and straighten out your nervous system and feel a lot calmer and a lot more grounded and centered in your body. If you take that same approach during sex and you utilize this, taking deep, slow, steady breaths, breathing together, encouraging him to do the same, you can often help him to slow down, gain control over his nervous system, and last longer in bed. Eh. Number five, don't be offended if he takes his focus off of you. He might need to close his eyes because the sight of your beautiful bosom bobbing up and down in the air is just too much to take and he has to close his eyes. He may even have to like ask you to stop dirty talking because it's just all too much to take. You're hot, dang, there. I said it, you are fine, and it is hard for him to focus on how fine you are and also focus on not finishing too soon. So if he has to take a breather with his eyes closed and maybe he doesn't seem like he's totally connected with you in the moment, give him a break. He's probably like checking in with his arousal spectrum or any of the other techniques that I list in my course come when you want. Uh, pause right there. I want you to take a break and write into the comments the funniest thing that ever happened to you during sex. I will give a prize to the funniest thing that happened during sex. Um, like farts, people walking in, the railing falling over, the bed falling apart, you name it. I want to hear about it. Point in the comments below. Thank you. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up. I mean, only if you liked it, but you're here still, so you must like something about it. All right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Number six, don't shame him if he fails. I mean, don't shame him ever. Don't shame anyone ever, ideally. I, I hate giving advice like this, but you should really not shame anyone ever for anything. But if your man comes too early, too soon, loses control, and you're disappointed, I get it. Be disappointed. 
but don't shame him for it. Don't make him feel bad or belittle him. Understand that he is doing his best and positive reinforcement, saying what worked for you, what you really liked, is going to get you a lot further than putting him down and making him feel bad for being less than perfect. Hey, he's human and he's doing his best. That's again why you're watching this video. Number seven, encourage him to practice without you. If he's in my come when you want master class for lasting longer in bed, he needs to spend 30 minutes a day on that class. Probably every other day he's going to need 30 minutes to practice self-pleasuring and the every other 30 minutes he's going to be watching the class and filling out the homework and the workbook that are designed to help him to tackle the mental and emotional aspects as well as the body aspects of premature ejaculation and the many things that cause it. Because of that, he actually needs time. So give him time. I know it sucks if you have children or you just don't get to spend a lot of time together, it can be really hard to say, yeah, 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 honey, 30 minutes, you can have the bathroom all to yourself, I don't mind. Especially if you only have one bathroom, like it's not an easy situation and I totally empathize with that. But listen, he's doing this because he wants to last longer in bed and if you want to help him in that, he's gonna need some alone time to self-pleasure, to masturbate without you, without porn, just him on his own, focusing on building his stamina in his own practice before he brings that to you in bed. It's sort of like practice how you play. He needs to practice so that he can get in there and play right with you. Please be patient while he takes that time. Number eight, be responsible for your own pleasure. Aside what I said in tip number one about communicating to him what you want, take responsibility and ownership for your own sexual pleasure. Make sure that you can get yourself off and that you can feed and nourish yourself sexually, erotically, and that you're pleasured and satisfied. Taking the responsibility off of him to please both of you and get both of you to orgasm is going to take a ton of pressure, pressure that is actually causing him to ejaculate too soon and actually working counter to what you want because he's feeling so much pressure he ejaculates early take the pressure off of him be able to please yourself it will go a long way in making your sex life even better I even highly recommend getting into a habit of mutual masturbation aka masturbating with and around each other I think that this can be an incredible practice if you haven't tried it already do it you'll learn a lot about how he likes to be touched how you like to be touched and it can be super sexy and it can spice things up, especially if you're in a long-term relationship and you're only sexual in front of each other when you're having sex with each other. Number nine, and this one is so important, focus on pleasure, not on orgasm. If you make pleasure the thing that both of you are working towards, if both you and him are together on a mission to increase each other's pleasure as much as possible, you are going to be successful no matter what. But if your goal is orgasm and his goal is orgasm and both of you are trying to have those orgasms at the exact perfect time, that's a lot of pressure. Orgasms are like a cat that you're chasing that does not want to be caught. The harder that you chase it, the harder it runs away from you. But pleasure is available all the time. Even think about it right now, wherever you're sitting, whatever you're doing, could you increase the pleasure that you're experiencing right now by one to 5%? Maybe opening a window, repositioning yourself in your seat, taking a deep breath, squeezing your pelvic floor, touching your skin in a way that makes you feel pleasure. This is a very PG rated activity. You can literally be at your desk right now watching YouTube, you naughty, naughty, naughty. And you can increase your pleasure at the same time. And if you're already doing something that's pleasurable, make it more pleasurable. If you're taking a bite of a candy bar, close your eyes, shut out the world for a minute and dive into the pleasure that is that chocolatey, caramely, whatever-y goodness. Increase your pleasure, follow your pleasure, not orgasm, and you'll almost always have great sexual experiences no matter what they include. And then finally, number 10, remember that he's doing this for you. So even though it might seem like a lot of work and maybe this top 10 list felt like it was putting a lot of pressure on you, I totally get that. I'm sorry that you feel that way. But remember that this is actually about you. He is trying to make better sex for you. I'm trying to help both of you to enjoy better sex together. And I fully believe that if you follow these instructions, you will have better, longer, more pleasurable, more orgasmic sex, and it will be all very much worth it in the end. 
Go ahead and write in the comments what other things women can do to help you last longer in bed. Let me know what else I missed. I'm sure there are more ideas out there. Make sure while you're down there that you are subscribed to this here channel. Go over and follow me on Instagram, Caitlin Victorious X, and I will see you here this time next week. Bye.